Good morning, everyone. <laughs> How are we all doing? I swear to God, my under eye bags are just slowly getting more like defined at the minute. And do you know what, actually? That's your fault. I have genuinely not had a full night's sleep probably like this whole year. Like, I don't know what's got into the cats at the minute. I don't know, right. Can anyone else relate to this? <laughs> if anyone's got pets, okay, I feel like since the pandemic started and since we've been in lockdown and everything else, our cats have become so needy. It's actually crazy. Like, they never used to be like this. They always used to just mind their business and everything else. And now it's like, they're literally waking me up throughout the whole night and waking mom and dad up the whole night as well. And then you just come in here in the morning like it's nothing. And now we have the other one. The other culprit. What are you doing? This is how my mornings look. Yeah, anyway, that was a bit of a random intro. I thought I vlogged today. I've not done a vlog in a while, I don't think. This is the thing. I feel like I'm literally living every single day the same at the minute. I don't know about anyone else. So it's probably going to be the same kind of vlog that I always film, but it is what it is. A lot of you guys said that you really enjoy, like, the stay-at-home vlogs and everything else. And it's a really beautiful day outside today. Like, it was supposed to rain every single day this week in Manchester. And I've woke up and it's so sunny and like beautiful outside breakfast time oh god you're in the way how warm actually is it outside today that is the question oh my god it actually is quite warm oh i might sit in the garden later then all right what are you whinging for oh you're all quiet now before it was all i swear to god since i've started giving the cats this food which is like the meowing heads food they actually won't eat anything else now <laughs> like meowing heads and a few packets of this in PR, which I thought was so cool. Like, I never get stuff for the cats in PR. And I was like, girls, like, you've got your own package. Like, it's so cute. And they absolutely loved it. And now they literally will not eat anything else that we give them. You're not even going to eat that? Oh, my God. I swear to God, Crunchy is the fussiest cat ever. Sorry, this vlog has suddenly turned into just, like, me and the cats. But to be honest, I am becoming a crazy cat woman. So like, what more can you expect? Right, breakfast time anyway. Sorry, my camera's not focusing very well. I think I might do a smoothie for breakfast this morning. I'm trying so hard to be healthy because I saw a tweet the other day and I've never related something so much in my life. I saw this tweet that was like, this lockdown has gone on for so long now that I've literally got into shape and got back out of shape. And if that is not me, I don't know what is like I feel like the first lockdown and even the second lockdown like I was pretty healthy and I was staying active and stuff and I was doing like home workouts and whatever else this lockdown no 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 I'm eating like so much shit I keep getting so many questions about how I stay in shape I'm like guys I am not in shape at all <laughs> so I'm trying really hard to be healthier so I'm gonna make a smoothie this morning I'm just gonna make a small one don't mind me but do you want to know what the issue is this has been my downfall recently i've discovered that um nando's now delivers to our house on delivery which it never has before like we really don't get very good takeaways we pretty much just get like dominoes and that's it but no nando's is now on delivery for us and that has honestly just been the biggest downfall of my life because i'm just eating it every night now okay so i'm gonna do frozen blueberries and strawberries and a banana and I'm just gonna have it with water because because it's like frozen fruit anyway. Um, it stays like nice and cold just with water in and it still tastes really good. And if anything, it's not like too thick and creamy. I feel like when I make these with um, oat milk sometimes they're a bit too thick. That's kind of a bit too much water, but it'll do. Also, I recently got this um, off Amazon. Skinny Syrups White Chocolate um zero calories zero sugar i really want to try i might do that today actually i really want to try and make some like starbucks drinks at home because every time i go to starbucks i either get an ice uh, an iced peach green tea is that right a peach green iced tea or an iced white mocha so i've got this like chocolate white chocolate syrup i might try should i try and make one now I mean, I could do with like a bit of coffee. Ooh, this does look like a good smoothie. I mean, it's a bit weird because I've just brushed my teeth. It tastes so much better with water. Like, I feel like I was using oat milk and it was A, more calories because the oat milk is like quite creamy. And B, it was just too thick. All right, I'm going to try and make this white ice mocha anyway. I'm pretty sure I saw Sid actually put the recipe for this on Instagram from an actual like Starbucks employee. And I'm pretty sure it's five pumps of syrup. <laughs> 
three shots of espresso and milk like whatever kind of milk that you want i'm gonna use oat milk like the creamy oat milk because it's my favorite and then three i might do four shots of espresso is that a bit wild no we're gonna do four shots i think it'll be fine I'm a bit scared to try this with it being like zero calories and zero sugar. Like, is it gonna taste a bit artificial? I mean, it had good reviews on Amazon. I'm such a sucker for like, if something has good reviews, then I just, I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll buy it. Like, I literally base my whole opinion off the reviews. Basically, I was actually gonna do this as a full video if anyone wants to see this. Um, I was gonna try and make my favorite Starbucks drinks at home, like the ice white mocha, for example. I was gonna try doing that, but then also make alcoholic versions of them. If anyone wants to see that for a video, I feel like I'm not gonna do that today. Um, but yeah, if anyone wants to see that, let me know. Cause I was thinking I could do like an ice white mocha, but do it as like an espresso martini version. Do I wanna put the milk in first? <laughs> I'm gonna put the milk in first because I'm scared. I'm gonna go for like a full large ice white mocha. That seems like quite a lot, but whatever. It is what it is. It's in there now. Second shot of espresso. If this syrup tastes good, I'll be so glad because like, it's literally got no calories or no sugar in or anything. I'm scared it's gonna go everywhere. I swear to God, if I ever pour anything, it always goes everywhere. Oh no. <gasps> oh, perfect. Oh my God, how good does that look? Stop. That looks so good. Look at me. Right, moment of truth. Let me give it a mix. Okay, are we ready? I'm scared. Oh my God, I have no words. Oh my God, it tastes good. It tastes so good. It tastes the same. It literally tastes like an ice white mocha. Dark. Oh my god, that's gonna A, save me so much money, B, save me so many trips to Starbucks. I'll link this syrup down below if anyone wants to get it. I got it on Amazon. Um, I just can't believe it's got no calories and no sugar. I was worried that it was gonna taste really, like, artificial, but, I mean, it tastes a bit artificial, like, but not in a bad way, not in, like, a nasty, like, sweet way. Like, it tastes, like, nice, nicely sweetened. Do you know what I'm saying? You know how crunchy is a wreck eating? Because she's constantly on patrol. Yeah. Fun fact, Crunchy cannot eat by herself. Like, yeah. she has some weird kind of anxiety that someone's gonna come and like, eat her. Eat. <laughs> so true. I had her on patrol looking around. Yeah. And then lo and behold though, the biggest ever cat actually came around the corner. <laughs> couldn't believe it. Oh my Scared God, what colour was it? Black and white. Oh, that is a big cat, that black and white cat. Mm -hmm. That is a big kitty. Anyway, I've, I've come in here for you to try my coffee. And to rate my coffee. Gosh, Hannah. You think it's too sweet? No, I think it's like, what's in it? <laughs> You're not selling it. I thought it's really nice. It's White chocolate of, syrup in it. It's got a bit of a weird aftertaste, that. Does it? Yeah, I think so. But then I'm, I'm eating this at the same time. It's probably, you know. You are eating like fresh orange. Yeah. That's probably so. not the best thing to mix coffee no, with. Every now and then I just come and sit in here and just like chill with mom don't i mom yeah this is actually charlie's room he's coming home as well soon this is he? don't know this is actually time. charlie's room which we redid this whole i say we redid this whole room you redid this whole room yeah it has got clothes and all sorts in here at the minute but mom works in here because it's like a nice cozy room so every now and then i'll just come and keep you company what i'm on got my first riding lesson next week guys i'm so excited can't wait it's actually a week today that's gonna be a shock for you yeah that will be a shock to the system Don't i can tell suffer. i'm really gonna struggle i know i will people think like horse riding is so easy oh, i swear no. it's not like you <laughs> it's it. you require like it requires so much stamina and just like overall strength like core strength like you need strong legs i'm gonna buy a horse one day guys that is one of my goals i'm gonna buy a horse i don't know when it will be but, where, but when you find somewhere to put one as well yeah but i'm gonna buy a horse not that i have any experience in looking after a horse well, I feel like I could learn. I'm yeah, true. All my dad's side of the family have horses. Yeah, this is a question actually. Are you guys like city people or countryside people? 
you're a countryside person at heart, definitely. definitely. And it's funny, I was talking to Mads about this. Mads was like, I'm absolutely a city person. She was like, I cannot ever imagine living in the countryside. But I, I feel like I'm definitely a countryside person. Like, I love, I definitely want my forever home one day to be like somewhere green and like mm. in the country. Like in the Cotswolds, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm, that is the dream. We were having this debate, like, as in like where I'm gonna live. Like when I move out, mum was like, "You can't go too far." <laughs> I just, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cope. I'd be lost without you, mum. I'd be lost without you. I know. Yeah. I might let you to the end of the garden, and that's about <laughs> it. You're really bitter this shit. <laughs> uh, I say this to mum all the time now because I'm like, I'm your tea maker, aren't I? <laughs> I could do with a brew actually. <laughs> I really could do with a brew. I make mum's cup of teas. Not not always, but when she asks for them. Because the I am the best cup yeah. of tea maker. And I was saying this to you yesterday, I was like, what are you gonna do when I move out in a couple of months? I'm just coming with you. I want to judge <laughs> this. No one's gonna make you tea as good as I make you tea. Well about this clip is just ten minutes of me and you chatting away. <laughs> I've just been editing Sunday's video. In fact, no, that's a lie. I've been editing the yoga video because I did actually, I've been filming like my yoga process. I don't know if I'm gonna post it because I don't know if anyone's actually interested in seeing it. But I've been editing it anyway just so that I can watch it back. I'm actually so like proud of myself <laughs> because I feel like I've become so much more flexible and just like more balanced through doing it, I guess. But anyway, update on this. My dad actually really liked it, which I was surprised at because he's a co like a coffee person. He's quite fussy with coffee. But honestly, I'm still drinking this coffee. You guys need to try this coffee recipe if you like ice white mochas. I feel like this. <laughs> I've spoken about this coffee this whole vlog, but it's so good. Okay, it's like one o'clock. It's a bit later. I've just been editing Sunday's video, um, and I've just heated up some lunch. This is what I mean. It literally just looks like I've gone from breakfast to lunch, but it's been a couple of hours. <laughs> since I last vlog. So I've just heated up last night's mac and cheese, which I did include this recipe in Sunday's video. I think it was actually my last video. Um, but I made it without the mustard powder and without the tomato puree this time. And honestly, it was so much better because I cooked this last night. Guys, I'm not even joking by the way. Like I put way too much coffee in that coffee before because I've honestly had like caffeine shakes, <laughs> which is so funny because I was on the phone to Millie before and we were talking about like, I was saying to her like you need to try this like recipe for this ice white mocha like it's so good and she was like oh well I'm trying to cut down on caffeine and I was like oh my god well I feel like caffeine doesn't really affect me like maybe it's because I don't drink a lot that I don't really notice but literally since I've said that I feel so just <laughs> what's the word I don't know I can really tell that I've had caffeine I feel like putting four shots of espresso in that coffee was just not the way to go because I'm literally like it's giving me like the shake not the shakes but you know what I mean like I just feel like I've suddenly got so much energy but yeah next time I make that I think I'm just gonna stick to three shots of espresso because that was quite a lot so I'm just gonna open this window it's really really warm today but yeah I'm gonna have this lunch it doesn't look super appetizing but I swear it's so good and then I do need to go to the post office today I've got some parcels to open actually. I think I'm gonna do that in a second. It's so good. The fact that this is like Slimming World as well. This is like a healthier version of mac and cheese, which like I said, the full recipe is in Sunday's video. Like I'll put it on the screen here if you wanna see. But the fact that this is like a healthier version of mac and cheese and it still tastes so good. It tastes so much better without the tomato puree and the mustard powder. Oh, also actually, me and Mill have been going on like walks every now and then. Millie actually goes on a walk every single day, which I wish I had that dedication, but I just don't. <laughs> so I like occasionally join when she goes on a walk. And I saw this thing on Instagram that was like, it's like a, the idea of a bar crawl, but obviously with bars not being open at the minute, you stop at like little corner shops and you get like cocktails or like little like pre-mixed cans or whatever and you do that like on your walk. It's like a little, kind of like a bar crawl, but it's more like a corner shop crawl. So I think we're going to do that on Saturday if the weather's well. So if you guys want me to vlog that, let me know because I feel like it would be a really fun vlog. Because yeah, obviously I can go for walks with Mill. Like you can, I'm pretty sure the rule is you can go for walks with like one other person from one other household. So yeah, I think we're going to do that on Saturday. We've planned like a route near us in terms of like where you can stop and get like little cocktails or whatever which i'm excited for i'm hoping the weather stays like this i feel like the weather app's been like so 
not accurate at the minute. It said it was going to rain every single day this week. Okay, quick little... I was going to say it's a PR haul, but it's actually mostly stuff that I've bought. Gosh, I actually get so out of breath just from coming up the stairs. Like, that's how you know I'm just so unfit at this point. First up, we've got ASOS, which I'm pretty sure I've just got like shoes okay so i picked up some new mules i've literally got these heels in like every single color off asos now because they're so cute i really love the fact that they've got like a square toe also wide fit i swear to god asos's like wide fit shoe range has gotten so good because you guys know i literally have like the widest fattest feet ever <laughs> so yeah i got them in this like brown color i thought they were going to be more brown than this they're kind of more of like a purple color to be fair but they're still really cute so i got those in a size three i can't believe like i'm a size three and i'm like five foot seven like how does that work out do you know what i mean <laughs> and then yeah i also got them in this like really cute green color i actually love this you guys know i am obsessed with green at the minute i feel like it's going to be my favorite color to wear this summer so i picked those up as well yeah, i really love these they're nice and supportive as well and like the actual band going across the foot is really comfortable i like the fact that they're a small heel as well because i hate like i cannot walk in big heels and then yeah i've also got them in white and black so i've got these in like <laughs> every color now on asos but i feel like they're gonna be my like go-to heels for summer i don't know like what it is does anyone else like this i feel like i just go through phases of like building a collection of things <laughs> or like as soon as i find something that i really like and i know that it fits and looks really good on i have to get it in like every single color so i also got this style of like are they technically mules i guess they're kind of like mules like heeled mules i actually got these in like the bright pink color first but the, the pink was just like a bit too bright for me and then i saw that they did them in this like nude color which i thought was really cute i did actually get these ones in a four because i was worried that the three were a bit too small which yeah i feel like they look better so those are the shoes if you want to say they look really not cute like that but still but yeah i didn't have any cute like nude heels and i feel like with a pair of jeans and stuff like they'll just look really cute now that i've got these in a four i'm kind of thinking if i need the rest of them in a four i'm like is a three a bit small i don't know because i feel like my heel is like right at the back of that like would you guys class that as too small i'm not sure i can't tell i can't tell if that's like a bit too small or it literally just like fits <laughs> perfectly. Okay, so that was ASOS. Oh, I also got a bag as well. So it's just like a little cute like shoulder bag, which I thought was nice. This one's actually bigger than my misguided one as well. And it's kind of like wider because it's got like a flat bottom. So I feel like I'll fit my camera and stuff in there, which is good. Okay, and then next up we've got Nasty Girl. Okay, so I basically picked up three like maxi dresses especially for just like wearing in the garden or like around the house and stuff when it's quite warm i had a couple of these last year when it was really warm in summer and honestly like they look so cute on for starters but they're also just really like airy <laughs> do you know what i mean like they just they feel comfortable to wear so i got this really cute blue one which is just like a straight neck and then it's got a little cut out at the back. It's just like a really cute baby blue colour. And I'm not sure on because I don't really wear stuff that's like patterned usually. But I thought it was cute for like something a bit different and something a bit more bright. I feel like my style is such a mixed bag of things. Like sometimes I wear like oversized joggers and like an oversized hoodie and I'll actually look like a guy. And then other times I'm like, oh, like a cute girly dress. Yeah, this one's a bit different. It's got like little frills all over it and it's got this kind of like floral pattern on it i also got these to film a reel with as well because i'm doing like i want to do like vogue inspired 2021 trends but my interpretation of them so i've just done the monochrome one and then one of the other trends they mentioned were like maxi dresses and then this one looked so cute on the model kind of like this like cream silky color it's gonna be a bit difficult to put like actually show it kind of like wraps around and then it's got these long like balloon sleeves and then it goes down into like a really flowy like silky dress we also got some bits from space nk which i'm really excited to try so we've got some products from the ordinary because they're gonna be they might have already launched on space nk when i'm filming this but either way they're gonna be on there soon oh we've got a hair product actually a multi-peptide serum for hair density 
makes hair look thicker fuller and denser which i will definitely have to give that a go and then we've also got some skincare as well caffeine solution reduces appearance of eye contour pigmentation and puffiness which that sounds like something i definitely need and high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula then also from space nk we've got some new products from sol de janeiro i want to say it's pronounced so we've got the brazilian joya shampoo is that how you pronounce it i'm not too sure i really love this brand in terms of like their moisturizers and body butters so i'm excited to try that we've got the shampoo and then also the hair repair treatment which looks really good so fingers crossed these are amazing they smell so good these products as well and then also something that i got sent in pr recently is the kvd vegan beauty good apple foundation i have seen this all over tiktok recently i think i'm gonna do maybe like a reel or like a tiktok trying these so i'm really excited to try that okay i'm gonna clean all of this up anyway and then i need to go to the post office where is there gonna be a car parking space for me because I really don't want to have to walk far. Are you leaving? Are you going to let me in? Oh, it's a parallel park. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Is anyone else like that? I swear to God. I can parallel park, but I hate the pressure of it. Like, I, I will not do it unless it's, like, the only option. Especially if it's just me in the car. Like, if there's no one else there to give me, like, moral support, I will not parallel park. <laughs> Too much pressure. And do you know what? I remember I had to do a parallel park. For my driving test and it was the one like thing that i didn't want to get because i hate doing them so much and it was literally no exaggeration the best parallel park i've ever done and i've never done one as good since <laughs> that'll do donkey okay it's a little bit later it's about six o'clock which i feel like whenever we go from like winter to spring it always i always forget that it gets so much lighter in the evenings so much quicker <laughs> because i feel like i look outside at this time of day and i expect it to be like four like max and obviously with it being lighter in the evenings now it is a little bit later so i'm gonna make dinner soon i did go to the post office and i also stopped and got a starbucks <laughs> because i wanted a peach green iced tea it's like my favorite thing ever to drink and now i'm just here with little freeze she always loves sitting on people's laps like she just i don't know it just keeps her warm and stuff but yeah i think i'm gonna make some dinner soon maybe it's probably gonna be like another um slimming world meal which I do just want to say actually, I had a couple of comments, not very many, um, on Sunday's video, which was the what I eat in a week, about people talking about Slimming Worlds and how it can be like an unhealthy kind of diet and everything else and i just want to say like i totally 100 percent like get what people are saying with that i personally don't follow slimming worlds i also don't do anything like count my calories like i'm not strict on myself with i mean obviously i'm not strict on myself with what i eat i feel like anyone that knows me knows that um, and i would never want to like promote that or like advocate for that either um so yeah i just want to say like the only reason we are cooking slimming world meals in the evening is because they are actually really like nutritious <laughs> like they're good easy vegetarian recipes to follow and they're healthy as well which is really great but in terms of the actual idea of like really sticking to slimming world and like really following like a strict diet or whatever that's not um well it's not at least what i'm doing my mom's been a little bit more strict just because she does want to lose a bit of weight personally i just like cooking the meals and just you know trying them out and things and obviously i want to support my mom and help her because my mum and dad work literally 24 7 they may as well yeah they're very hard working they don't get a lot of time to themselves so if i can help my mum out and cook her slimming world meals then obviously i'm gonna do that so i need to pick a recipe for tonight sorry i'm looking a bit disheveled today <laughs> my hair's just like falling out in fact let me fix that because that's really gonna bug me but yeah i'm gonna cook dinner soon and then I might get a bath tonight. I'm kind of in the mood to get a bath. I need to shave. <laughs> I hate, like, I don't know about anyone else. I just hate when I can start, I start to feel like my legs getting hairy again. I'm like, no, 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 I need to shave. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be the day. It's been a very, like, chilled day. I would usually do a lot more, like, work stuff and, lot, like, a lot more filming and everything else. But if I'm filming vlogs, I don't like to overlap filming, like, Instagram stuff or filming... Um, like main channel stuff or whatever like I don't like to overlap those things because they take up so much time that it's pretty much the whole day and then it's not stuff that I'm putting in this video anyway if that makes sense so yeah it's been a bit of a chilled 
day but it's been nice like i i'm gonna tidy this room up as well i like having these days because i feel like i just do like little bits and bobs that need doing like going to the post office and like any emails that need doing i've been doing that today i've done a bit of editing today i need to pick something to watch on netflix tonight that is such a like rude face look at her oh my gosh oh no she senses being left out me and my mum have been like picking films like um obviously in the evenings when we sit down and watch film and every single film that we've picked recently has been so bad like i don't know what it is we just clearly can just not pick good films i did start watching the vampire diaries again but i like i don't know i don't i'm not like enjoying it as much as i remember enjoying it like does that ever happen to any of you like I feel like sometimes when I re-watch stuff, it just doesn't give me like the same feeling as like the first time I watched it, do you know what I mean? Same with like Twilight, like I was obsessed with Twilight growing up, like I read the books, like I was like the first star at the film and I remember like, it must have been about a year ago, um, I re-watched one of the Twilights, I think it was maybe like Breaking Dawn Part 1 and I was just like... I do not remember it being like this. I swear it's so much more cringe than I remember it being. But at the same time, I do like, I mean, it's Twilight. Like, I'm always going to love it. Sorry, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. <laughs> no one cares. Um, oh, fuck. I need to water my plants, actually. Do you know what? Every single time I'm laying in my bed, I look up and like, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm even showing you. But like, that is my <laughs> view. It's just like my little green leaves and i've not watered my plants in a few days oh park life tickets went on sale this morning as well and guess who didn't get one me but yeah sorry i've just been waffling for like the past 10 minutes <laughs> why anyone watches my videos i really don't know at this point because all i do is just chat shit okay so i've just asked mom what she wants for dinner and it's gonna be a pretty simple one tonight she literally Oops, sorry i'm just in the fridge she literally just wants this like stir fry with um the stir fry sauce and some noodles which is probably gonna take me like literally 10 minutes to do Try that again. Does anyone else's family have a really weird thing about like dishes have to be hot when dinner served? Because my mum will not eat out of a cold dish. All right, I feel like those noodles will do. That will do. Why does it always look like as soon as you put the noodles in, there's like basically no veg in there? That'll do. Donkey. Just had an Amazon parcel come. So I got some new San Tropez tanning mitts because these are probably one of my favorite tanning mitts and I genuinely go through them so quickly. I got a top up of Garnier Micellar because Garnier is now cruelty free, which I'm so excited about because this really is like my favorite um micellar water like ever and obviously for a long time they weren't cruelty free i did really like the it cosmetics one as well but this one is just like a fraction of the price and i get the oil one so it's great for like my skin as well because my skin is pretty dry two new um sally hansen airbrush legs by far the best instant tan i've ever used and i've tried like a lot of instant tans and um, i'm using one by tanologist at the minute which i do really like and then i also got some new dry shampoo i've pretty much like stocked up like everything is at least a two or that's a three um but yeah i got some new dry shampoo as well because i actually cannot go without dry shampoo and i was gonna get batiste but i didn't realize batiste actually isn't cruelty free like it's so you have to really like be knowledge knowledge up like that's not a phrase but you have to really like google stuff because even things like dry shampoo for example like i wouldn't think about oh is that cruelty free until i got to the checkout and i was like oh is batiste cruelty free well fun fact it isn't <laughs> but collab is and i do really like their dry shampoo i've officially been kicked off my own bed <laughs> that's what this has come to just been cleaning the kitchen a little bit <laughs> i've put myself some like chicken nuggets in as well not actual chicken but like corn nuggets i feel like i've eaten at really weird times today like i had a tuna panini when i went to starbucks as well um so yeah i had obviously i had breakfast and then i had lunch which was the mac and cheese and then i had a tuna panini at like sorry dad's fixing something i had a tuna panini at like what time did i go to starbucks what time did i go it's probably like four o'clock so i wasn't hungry at dinner time so i've literally just put some little 
chicken nugs in that I'm just gonna have on their own because at this point it's like 10 o'clock and I'm too tired to do anything else. Hi guys. Sorry, this clip's gonna annoy me. Yeah, I'm in bed. It is past midnight now, so obviously I didn't get a bath. Um, I've just brushed my teeth. I was gonna do some skincare tonight, but it's gotten so late that like I just can't even bring myself to do it. Like, <laughs> does anyone get like that? I feel like when you're just tired and stuff, it's just like, I'm just gonna skip it tonight. Like I'll do it in the morning. Yeah, basically I was gonna get a bath, but our boiler exploded. <laughs> which was just so much fun so just spent the past couple of hours cleaning up um tidying the house just doing like bits and bobs a little bit gross like i feel like i really could have done with like a shower or a bath but obviously we've got no hot water now but yeah i don't really know like what i've done today in this video i feel like i've not really vlogged like tons um, it's mostly been like just me chatting away with myself for the most part, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway Obviously, I didn't have a super busy day today in terms of work because I Like I said earlier, I tend to work my work around these videos so that I'm not actually I've not really got a lot of work to do on these days because I put it in To other days of the week just so that I have more of a free day to focus on this video Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a bit of a random <laughs> spend the day with me but either way i hope you've all enjoyed it um i don't think i have anything else to say so yeah i will see you in the next one